Hello and welcome to my jasper.ai art where I finally get to show you how this is going to work by giving you a little tutorial. In case you're not familiar, art is the feature that they just recently launched not too long ago and for any customer of Jasper, you can utilize it. It's gonna be $20 a month, but depending on what you need for your art needs or just any use for this, it could be very helpful with you in your online business. I will put a link down below in the description for getting started with a trial of Jasper in case you don't have it. And of course, you can always upgrade if you want. So let me show you how this actually works. It's very simple, very similar to a lot of the Jasper templates. What you're going to be doing here is going through each of the sections and then choosing what you want to use. And after you're done, you can click on create. Not a whole lot going here. So in terms of the text to image AI tutorial, let's start right here. And just having the example in the background, a pirate fighting a skeleton over a chest of gold. I really like that. That sounds cool. I'm going to use that one. Okay, so now we have our main description and what we can do from here is choose our styles, mediums, artist style, mood, and keywords. So style, as you can see, if you're very familiar with art, you'll probably know these a lot better than me. Like some of these are gonna be pretty obvious like anime, uh, cartoon, illustration, or like stick figure. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna go with none on this. I'll change them around after just to show you. Medium, uh, acrylics, canvas, chalk, charcoal, classic oil, crayon, crayon, glass, ink, uh, wood panels, spray paint, pencil sketch, and so on and so forth. Let's go with, let's go with ink. Artist style, Andy Warhol, Ansel Adams, Dr. Seuss, Pablo Picasso, Pixar, Salvador Dali, South Park, and Van Gogh. Yes, they even have a South Park one. It's great. I like Van Gogh. Let's go with Van Gogh. Mood, okay, <laughs> whatever you want it to be here. Aggressive, angry, boring, calm, cheerful. Uh, something with exciting. I think that'd be very exciting. A pirate fighting a skeleton over a chest of gold. Keywords, if you want to use any of these. I think this is what makes it very special is once you choose what you want, there's just so many different ways to transform the art that you're going to be getting. I'm going to go with none for keywords. Either way, let's click on create and see what we get. All right, and look at that. A pirate fighting a skeleton over a chest of gold, ink, Van Gogh, and exciting. These are phenomenal. My goodness, okay? And what you can do, you can copy it if you want. This is how you're going to download it. You can give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down. And of course, if anything was biased or sensitive content, or say like you, you typed in a pirate fighting a skeleton over a chest of gold, and you got, I don't know, something completely irrelevant, like someone watering their flowers and planting plants. I don't know. Obviously, if it goes off the rails, so to speak. Keep in mind, at the time, the art is still in beta. So there will be a little blips in here. Like I came up with a few things where I typed in a description description and it didn't quite accurately understand what I was talking about, but all I had to do is reword it. And overall, it's going to get better in the future. That's just something to keep in mind. Now, let's change these around. Let's say we want a 3D render. I'm going to get rid of ink here. Let's do create. And actually, let's just do none for this and see what we get. Ah, perfect. Exactly what we got, a 3D render. And as we talked about, a pirate fighting a skeleton over a chest of gold. Not sure if there's a lot of gold in those ones, so that could be like slightly a little better, but either way, you're getting what you're looking for in terms of the pirate and the skeleton. Let's go with none here, and then it's, I think these styles is what I really like. Let's do Dr. Seuss. I'm sure you're familiar with him and all of his like kids' books. Ha, huh, that is perfect. Look at that. I like that one. It looks like they're like hugging. I mean, they could be fighting, right? This one looks more like fighting. I love the uh, the art aspect to this. It's really great. He's actually wearing, looks like almost a Dr. Seuss hat. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do Pixar. All right, that is phenomenal. This is a really good one. As you can tell, Pixar definitely themed. Okay, they're going to be, looks like they could be fighting. They could be, you know, celebrating. Either way, uh, I like that. Let's do a, uh, South Park. South Park's a good one. Ha <laughs> ha! That is perfect. I'm not sure what the, the text is going on there, but these are most certainly South Park characters. So as you can see, when it comes to like creating text to image, the tutorial isn't all that difficult. Let's now go to the free form. Free form is where you can pretty much do whatever you want. So uh, what I like doing is clicking on this button. Sometimes it'll say, let's get weird or, you know, give me some ideas. I don't want to think pretty much. This is going to be a random image that's going to be generated in terms of the description. So let's click on this house in the woods, wood panel, origami boring let's create yeah and like they said house in the woods boring uh, origami maybe i don't know if you could that one's pretty much hard to squeeze in there but that's exactly what we're looking for let's get weirder okay earth cartoon realistic boring create there we go earth cartoon realistic and you know kind of boring overall but 
this is a just fantastic. I love how it can create art like this. It's it's just phenomenal to me how much technology has increased over the years and being able to just type something in and get amazing art generated by AI. Let's do one more so I can kind of wrap up this tutorial. I think you get the idea about how you can use it. Uh, that one's kind of similar. Scenic mountain range, high resolution, lifeless, and crayon. Let's go with it for our last one in this tutorial video. Uh, that is perfect. Crayon, it is. Kind of looks like a MTG card. If you know what MTG is, high five for you. Uh, this looks beautiful. I really enjoy that one. But all in all, that's a very quick text to image AI tutorial when it comes to using Jasper Art. Keep in mind, this is currently going to be for users and customers of Jasper, and it's going to be $20 a month. Uh, in my opinion, you get unlimited amount of art. They said that's going to change over time. I'm not sure if it's the unlimited aspect or the price, but it is still in beta. So it's like the perfect time to check it out. The link will be down below in case you haven't gotten to check out uh, Jasper or sign up for that. And then you can go from there. So I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this video when it comes to jasper.ai art. This is like the first time using it today. I'm going to be doing plenty more videos where I have more examples, more tips, more tricks, and a lot of cool things when it comes to Jasper art. So be sure to stick around for them. Anyway, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.